Da 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 da. Demonetized. How's it going, Chads? Welcome back to Brown Table. To all the new viewers out there, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So, Parasite is probably one of the best films to come out of this decade. What? Oh, this video isn't on Parasite? So the Adams Family killed cinema, right? I'm just kidding. No, it, it didn't kill cinema. If one movie killed cinema, it would be <coughs> Man and the Wasp. There's actually a movie called Arctic Dogs coming out. That one actually does look <laughs> like the death of cinema. But uh, no, Adams Family is definitely not the death of cinema, though I think, just like in my letterbox review, um, if Guillermo del Toro saw it, I think he would probably say, uh, I don't believe in cinema. The Adams Family 2019 film is directed by a director, uh, I think. Uh, I will not name him. I will also not name anybody involved in this project. And the only reason why is because I feel that they would be embarrassed if I said their names. For example, I will say one actor and you will just immediately understand why I won't say their names. Oscar Isaac is in this movie. Oscar Isaac is in this movie. Now here's the thing, I bet a lot of people worked really hard on this film, but it's really bad. This looks like one of those movies that is like the first movie that a studio ever makes. I looked it up and I'm pretty sure this actually might be the case. For that, you have like five different set locations in this film. Why would you do that to yourself? Let's be real, if a studio has a small budget and they wanna make a, a film, make it smaller. Like I said, five different set locations. There's the Adams Family House. There's this uh, disgusting, I don't know, boulevard. I don't know what the hell this thing is called. There's a school which is empty as hell. And uh, there's like some other set locations that I don't think are in the trailers. I've actually never watched The Adams Family. I bet you so much that this is something that a lot of people adore. I'm totally fine with that. Of course, people can like whatever they want. Um, it looks fun. Um, it looks dated, but it looks fun. Uh, this movie is an absolute atrocity. The writing in this film is the absolute absolute worst thing I've ever seen conceived in such a long time, it actually bothered me watching it. Usually I'm just put off and I'm like, mm -hmm, you know? Even the worst looking movie can actually be passable if the writing is there. And in this movie, the writing is not there. Let me paint you a picture real quick. So I went to a theater with my friend to watch this thing. It was packed full of kids. My friend and I were like, oh my God, we're not even gonna be able to listen to the movie. And we were because the kids made no noise. They only laughed at things that it would make sense for six year olds in the audience to laugh at. So like slapstick comedy and a weird maybe facial expressions, random stuff. The actual jokes that the movie actually tries to hit writing wise and not just, oh, that hurt, you know? all fail. And the reason why is because the writing is just not there. Films are a visual format, right? So when a character decides to explain the joke to the audience, then it's not funny. L let me give you an example. There's the mom character. I don't know her name because I don't watch The Addams Family. The skinny, tall character. She explains every single joke that goes on in the movie. Whenever something bad happens, all she says is, oh, you shouldn't do that because that is not good. There's usually a murderous clown attached to the other end of these. Pugsley, don't drink it all. This gentleman wants some too. That's all she does. That's it. That's her character. And here's the thing. I haven't watched the Addams Family show to know if this is actually like the perfect representation of her character. If the movie is a good representation of the show, then I'm gonna hate the show. Wednesday, please, no ink stains on the table. Yes, mother. <laughs> the writing is literally Characters flip on a switch like that. Like the dad is berating his son, being like, listen, you need to study hard on this like knife uh, sword fighting thing. And then eventually when the son is like, oh, I can't do it, dad. The dad immediately flips and is like, you're right. I shouldn't have pushed this on you. Where did that come from? Like, I, I can't fathom how... <sighs> I've edited some stuff out. I've lost my mind like at least five times throughout this video. I'm trying to make it as least offensive as possible because being an animator and being someone who creates things as well, or, you know, not as, you know, popular as the Adams Family, but, you know, I try to create things. I understand how hard the process is. But when you have money and you have, you know, an IP that's popular and you don't take advantage of it, you can tell that it's just a cash grab. It really is. You, you, you watch the film and you leave and you feel like this was made for money. Now, character design wise, the characters are actually interestingly designed. Some are extremely just way too basic. Some, this is, this is 
What is that? I don't... Look, I'm really sorry. I don't know what that is. That's terrible. We have two different body types for characters. We have the fat one, and we have the incredibly skinny one. There is no, like, usual in-between. Everyone is either gigantic or thin. That's it. And I know it's like a, like a style. Disturbing. In Maya, which is the, the editing program we use to model characters for computer animation in 3D, um, the arms are like this, right? Here's the problem. Th this model obviously wasn't shaped to be like actual muscles. It was literally just a stick. Since the arm is a stick, when the arm bends, this joint, like where this bends, it's gonna start eating into the arm. I don't, I, you probably don't understand what I'm saying, but this happened so much in the film that I was like, make these characters just a bit thicker, dude. There's only one character that I adored, and that's Wednesday. And I actually remember her name because she's a character. She in this film is the only reason why I actually chuckled. I chuckled maybe five times, and four out of the five, it was because of her. Then again, the rest of the movie is just, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain this without just constantly repeating how shit it is, but it's shit, guys. Instead of the Addams Family, please watch Parasite. Watch the la wa watch anything that <laughs> that's not the Addams Family. Even even movies that Martin Scorsese doesn't call cinema, like the Marvel movies, watch them instead of the Addams Family. For the main cast of the Addams Family, it feels like the characters are actually designed by like a concept artist and every single other character was not and i'm talking uh the best friend wednesday's best friend in the film whoever if there was a concept designer it doesn't work i really hope it's just like a modeler who was just told model model wednesday's best friend we don't have a concept design just do it then honestly good job because you did like a face let me make this clear before i keep going is this movie offensive no. But, you know, studios are small and big, you know, not everyone can be Pixar, but you can kind of sometimes tell when, like, an extra effort was put in a film, and it wasn't put in this film. You could have modeled maybe a few more additional background characters and put them in the world behind, you know, this uh, neighborhood that the Adams family invade, uh, but they're not there. There's nobody there. There's no background. There's nothing to give life to anything. There's no, what? I, I think there's birds or bats, like, barely any times in the movie. You know, there's, like, people in cafes, but there's no people outside. Like, make the... <sighs> You have the chance to make something amazing and you don't take it? That's so frustrating. It's really frustrating, guys. It's not an offensive film, but it's offensive to me. Only one character is charm, and it's only in, like, a select few scenes. And then everything else is just, Oh, look, it's a red balloon. There should be a clown behind there. Did you get my joke? There's also a running gag where a character gets shot multiple times over and over. It's actually really violent. I don't know how they kept that in in a movie for kids, but a character keeps getting shot by arrows. And one time the arrow goes through his skull. And I was like watching it like, I don't know if the kids, the kids weren't laughing by the way. Cause the way I'm thinking now obviously isn't like a little kid's thinking anymore. I don't know if they found it funny or if they found it like genuinely kind of disturbing. There's also an antagonist in the film who hates the Adams family, absolutely loathes them. She hates their way of living, their style, everything, right? She even gets the townspeople of her makeshift town, you know, whatever the story, and they go to basically destroy the Adams family home. And when I mean they destroy the Adams family home, I mean they, they're pretty much going in to not only destroy the home of the Adams family, but kill the Adams family. That's pretty much what's going on. And at the end of the film, not only did the townspeople uh, instantly get pardoned, but also <laughs> the antagonist lady the antagonist lady marries this, uh, this character. Adam's Family is obviously not the death of cinema, that's just the title. If you see anyone in the comment section saying, like, what do you mean? This is, how is it the death of cinema? I'm obviously exaggerating. But even so, uh, to some people it might not be offensive. To computer animators it'll be offensive, probably. To writers, it will be like whew, as offensive as Suicide Squad, probably. I, I, like if I worked on it, I would not want people to watch it. 
I'm, and I'm being for real. Like I have old art that's trash and I don't want anyone to ever see that. But you know, I'm gonna keep working and keep improving and make better art, right? This is probably that first art for a lot of, you know, the peop for a lot of the people that worked on this film. And I hope they improve and I hope they get better because this is, this is really bad. This is really bad. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching the video. I feel like maybe this video is a little more intense than I wanted it to be, but I really, I really hated this movie. So I just want to make that clear. Um, I don't hate anyone involved. I just hate the film. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you want to join the Chad Nation, the Chad family, the Chad whatever we have, you want to become a Chad, all you have to do is subscribe. Maybe you like this video, maybe comment something. Uh, but the truth is that uh, we Chads are not the uh, misogynistic type of Chad. And all we do is love Catwoman. That isn't a joke. We, we actually love Catwoman. Uh, there's merch, you know, you can join the Discord. I am going to be streaming in about like two weeks. And it's going to be very, very important. So keep your eyes peeled on that, the community tab on the YouTube channel. Also, my patrons are super sexy ass people. Thank you so much for being patrons. I really appreciate it. It has been tough to make videos because of, you know, like I say in almost every video now in these past few months, I have college. But thank you so much for supporting this channel. Can't do it without you guys. So thank you, patrons. Thank you so much for coming to the table. And I'll see you all next time. Hey, did anyone arrive while I was away? I saw an SUV on the other side of the Halloween parade. Hey, did anything slick slick back while I was away? You know I've got a lot of time to ample and pontificate.